the modern conception of a self is one of the underpinnings of our civilization. It's, it's part of our basic mythology. And by a mythology, I mean the stories that tell us who we are and why we're here and what the world is and what's real and what's possible and what's important. That's a mythology. And so ours says who we are is a separate individual in a, a world of other, among other competing individuals and competing organisms. And that, that the world outside of ourselves is, is basically this fantastically complicated machine, but it is not a sentient, conscious, intelligent being. It is merely the habitation of sentient, conscious, intelligent beings, the pinnacle of which the only full beings are ourselves. So animals have a bit less beingness and plants even less, and rivers, rocks, mountains, the sun, the moon, the stars, the wind, the clouds, none at all. That's the, the mythology that, that most of us have grown up in if we've been educated in modern society. Indigenous people, of course, didn't believe anything of the sort. So that's the story of separation, I, I call it. Mm. And it, is, uh, it stands in contrast to what I like to call the new and ancient story of interbeing, which is a term coined, I believe, by Thich Nhat Hanh. But it's a very naturally occurring word. I and probably many people started using it simply because what we're talking about, this, this successor to the separate self, it's, it goes beyond interdependency or interconnection. It's really interexistence. It's not that I depend on you and on our relationships for my survival, or I depend on the Amazon, or I depend on the pollinators or the sun, but it's that these beings are actually part of myself, which means that if we cut down the Amazon or destroy the honeybees or extinguish any species on earth, even if we could come up with a technological substitute for it and manage and control this planet with geoengineering, carbon sucking machines and you know, bleaching the sky white and seeding the oceans to draw down carbon and so on, something in us would still have died without the Amazon. We, would have, we will have become less and, and therefore our healing as, as individuals and as a society and as a civilization, it, it depends on recovering these dwindling aspects of our being, these lost relationships to come back into relationship with on, on every level, with exiled parts of ourselves, with marginalized elements of our society, of our, of, with other cultures, with the places around us uh, to come back into community, to come back into the larger ecological community, relations with nature, to, to know ourselves as relational beings. That is the, that's what healing is. And mm -hmm. that is what I would like our next mythology to be.